Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Ultimatum League 3.14. In this episode, I'm going to be doing viewer pilled reviews. Let's get into this shit. Okay, uh, so I'm going to start off with how you can do a build review yourself. Uh, to do a viewer build review, just comment below uh, your profile name, your character name, and what's wrong with your build and what you could need help with. And I will try my best. Now, uh, flashbang alert. Two, one. We are starting with Mogolev. He says his Spectre Ape boys are dying. He needs Ellie Chaos for the minions. Maybe he should go in Dom Army Grave Intentions. He maybe he wants to go a Forbidden Taste, but he needs Chaos Res. Uh, he wants to know how to get Giga Deeps, and uh, he he figured out that Grave Intentions helps. Now. This is his original POB, and I will just say there's like eight things here because he's combined a bunch of builds um, and he's trying to figure it out himself. I'm going to give him all of the solutions. So the first thing is that there's like six things. Seriously, there's eight things. Okay, um, he's got like eight million damage. Because he has 5 stone golems and 1.6, 1.7. So he has giga deeps. He has giga deeps. Now let's talk about the rest of the build. So he talked about monkey survival. He talked about um, his own chaos res. Okay. So chaos res is the focus. The minion survive the, the, the specter survivability. And uh, what the hell is going on with this tree? Okay, so first thing is he took a large cluster, and this is Rotten Claws, but he didn't take the Rotten Claws because he already has 100% Impale with this one. So I'm just going to say he doesn't, he shouldn't take the second large cluster, and he should just take the, the Rotten Claws for two points. Okay, so then the other thing is to get back the extra Jewel Socket, he has to take three points here, and uh, the the four pointer with the life for this one you could also go this way for this one with the chaos because i recommend doing the loop of chaos right you do this chaos wheel because he's missing chaos and he wanted chaos uh, and so instead of this life strength regen we just take that out you still have 800 regen because you're a stone golem elementalist and uh, now you have 5,400 life. You're 94 still. You have the two jewel sockets, so you get back your Anima Stone, your Primordial Mai, and your Anima Stone. You still have 1.6. You have five of them, five stones, so you're still pumping out 8 million damage. Uh, the benefit here is more chaos and, uh, and still the full Rotten Claws, like 100% Impale. And uh, the more chaos and the more life is very nice. Um, and then the pathing is slightly different. Like now you're closer to this jewel socket or righteous army um, and all that stuff. It's really interesting. Then the second thing is you talked about the specters. And so I was like, well, let's see what he's talking about. So I noticed 75, 68, 68, 45. Um, so that's his carnage. And so it looks like this. Uh, maximum hit 60,000, 180, 180, 230, and then 95. So he said that he needed grave intentions. And this is true because he didn't take elemental army. He took meat shield. And so in my guides, all of them, I, I don't use meat shield. I use elemental army. And so what elemental army would do is you won't have the elemental problem. With the specters so now they're they're capped and even more so you could take out the full grave intentions and they're still res capped and they're actually 80 and that's that's the point of the elemental army in my guide and then the, and then technically yes your chaos is low and the physical is low so then this is where technically you could take the indom army uh you could take dread march mediums on this, you could take two Dreadmarch Mediums. Um, it makes taking this Jewel Socket worse, obviously, because... Yo, like, look at that. And then 
So if you don't take Grave Intentions now, maybe you go path over here to this Jewel Socket, and you could also grab Righteous Army while you're here, and then you could also grab this Devotion because it's a really good node, and um, it almost makes it look like Soul of Steel all the way pathing over here isn't worth it if you're not doing all this just because of um, being a Golem build. <laughs> And all this stuff you need at the current point. But this is all the way to 96, which takes it too high. Um, unless we take out one point here. Save one extra point on you. There you go. Uh, you're up to actually 1.75 million damage. And we got an extra jewel socket. Oh, this is the one that was over there. What was this? Uh, Anima stone? Yeah. Uh... So then you get the 1.75 DPS, you have the 1000 regen, 5797 life, chaos res, um, your specters are res capped because of the thing, and then I mentioned that, honestly, the best one is probably Indom Army, but Dreadmarch is similar, it's 10% chaos, 10% fizz, um, damage reduction on a medium cluster, so you can add, uh, the, the uh, Jewel, um, cluster, medium, minion life, and then you can get dread march, uh, and, and I don't know, like renewal or something, I guess, as your second one, just because the extra regen could be nice, and then this in the build, if you fit that instead of, um, maybe some of this life or something, Then, uh, or instead of this, <laughs> go a little bit squishier, but then get uh, the minion survivability if you want to do that. Technically, Dread March is really good. Uh, or, yeah, Grave Intentions for the Chaos. And you already mentioned that you wanted to get some Abyss Jewels with minion Chaos Res. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you did already have this too. Oh, nice. Holy shit. Actually, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I think that helps. Because Spectres are slightly lower. Like, if you looked at the Zombie... If you had a zombie in the helmet with the elemental army, it actually has more res. Or the host chieftain has different res too. But uh, 49,000. And they were at like 60,000 60, with the grave intentions. So I'm fairly certain as my final thing that if in this they're dying, well then it's going to feel way better with Indom army for the physical. Like that's disgusting. That's a huge amount, right? You you know that. And then it also helps the Chaos because they have more life. And they're elemental with being actually res capped. Um, then that'll help a lot. So, uh, But yeah, obviously then you have to get those points. But I think we saved a lot of points with this. And the other thing that's really questionable is doing Soul of Steel and all this. If we're not doing all of that extra pathing because you're not really, you're not hardcore. And, uh, and then you're, you're actually up next to so much stuff up here that you kind of need just for the current situation that you're in. Um, yeah, and then I highly recommend Elemental Army instead. And I recommend uh, Immortal Call instead of Molten Shell. Uh, just as a side thing we learned in Hardcore recently. Oh, you actually have zombies. Oh, shit. Those can't live. That's impossible. Because of the build. Because the Spectres are capped through Elemental Army. They're, the zombies can't live. You don't need the zombie either. This is a completely useless thing. Oh, wait. How are they res kept? Oh, because I took Indom Army. Right, right, right. Showing the Indom Army. Technically, that works to cap them. But they wouldn't be capped normally. And so this this will die probably. Like, look at the survivability. And then even with it, they're just so much squishier than the Spectres. They're so hard to keep alive, um, and they're not in the helmet. They don't have the plus two. They don't have the minion life. Final thing, uh, you could upgrade the helmet to a plus three minion life twenty, and uh, you can go for a plus one int, plus one fizz ami, so that you can get levels on the specter and levels on the uh, stone golem. You could also go plus one strength and physical, so that you could get extra levels on the stone, but then you don't get them on the specters and you can also go for wands with plus one to minion skill gems plus one to spell skill gems and that is uh more helpful specifically for the specters 
where this is just physical, so it's just the stone golem and the animate guardian. So you're right now your chaos golem, your zombies, your specters are squishy, but they could be better with better wands and better ammy and better helmet. That's the build review. Next, thank you Mogla for the review, man. Uh, hope I helped. Next, uh, which one did I pick up next? I'll just do it in the order I opened them. Carry me, Rocky. Where are you? Holy yip. About 700k DPS for each carry on. I have Rotten Claw and Renewal Cluster already with 100% pale. How can I scale the DPS even more? I know I need Primordial Bond Cluster and some gear upgrade for sure. Uh, if you're carry on Golem, you don't need Primordial Bond. Also, my Spectre and Zombies are dying to Ultra Trial. Yeah, Ultimatum Trial. At least not for regular mapping. What can I do? My skill points are very limited, so will be hard to reach in Dom Army. Sure, dude. We got this. Uh... It's a pretty cool build already. Looks really cool. I'm gonna guess. Wait. So he's an elementalist carry on. Oh. That's why he said primordial bond. So he's done the thing where he swapped in carry on golems. And now he's running like the super old thing where you have to keep zombies and specters and everything alive in an elementalist. And he is struggling. So he's going back to the old shit. We, oh god. Yep, there's the zombie in the helmet with the elemental army. So, um, already the first thing I notice. These are level 20. Dude, I have better in SSF. Uh, 21. Okay, here, let me show this first. Because that's gonna be huge that's that's gonna help a lot you need where is it okay zombie 25 28 3000 it's more than 10 percent. it's fucking crazy get those levels get the quality on elemental army it gives extra max res uh it's op nice immortal call that's really cool vulnerability is that in a profan holy shit you could go I see. Oh. Uh, he doesn't... Is this Cold Irons? This is one? This is a Victarios? Why the hell are you Victarios? What the hell? That's why. Found the problem. Here, let's just go another wand. What's the damage? There you go, dude. I got you another 200,000 damage. Easy, man. Uh, what else are we looking at? Renewal, Dread March, Renewal. That's great. That's exactly what I was recommending in the other one. Yo, this video is so good. Let's go, man. Let's go. Ravenous Horde on the, on the Anoint is really cool. 11,000 armor, really high physical, low chaos. Did you skip the chaos? No. That would be crazy. What the fuck? That looks so weird. You just take one point and then... <laughs> I remember doing that. That's so weird looking. It's so weird looking. Oh god. So many weird things. And then this is Rotten Claws Renewal. Or Primordial Renewal Rotten. That's pretty good. Uh, 4500 life. So squishy. Low chaos. The items... These were plus twos with minion life and minion damage crafted. That's really cool, actually. Um, the plus two. Oh, you could get minion life in the helmet. That'll really help. Uh, so an elder helmet. And then you can go for item level 80 elder helmet for... Oh, I see that you went for the carry on golem. So you want more damage, though. Uh, how can you get more damage? Uh, personally, normally... What I notice is your uh, three, four harmony build and two eminence. So in my experience, uh, one extra eminence is usually more. I mean, one extra harmony is more damage because um, you have three golems in this one, three different golems. So it gives sixty. Wow, it's actually less apparently. But then I would do this swap of the seven thousand loss because it's lower cooldown. And the cooldown is nice for moving the golems around. 
Um, I would also like higher, but yeah, you got 20, which is which was the top priority for the elementalist. So that's really cool. I see replica headhunter. Holy shit. Um, and then how how would you get more? So you have your plus two. You got your minion damage. Uh, what's your ammy? He's got the plus two. He's got the ravenous horde. What's your minion damage at? You you could go more harmonies. You have the renewals. <laughs> Is this the carry on golem life, dude? Four of these, four million. This shit doesn't doesn't even look anywhere. Yep. <laughs> True. Holy shit, man. That looks rough. Well, you're only 94, so you get more skill points. More harmonies would probably be helpful. Um, more minion damage seems like it's huge, because just uh, 44 adds 60,000, so an elegant hubris with like big minion damage and big minion life could really help you uh, for the survivability of the minions along with big, big fat damage. Uh, I would highly recommend in this spot, the thing I was looking at the most that I was like, it's not in it, uh, is an animate guardian. And it was mostly because I saw this ring, the profane proxy, vulnerability, this isn't that great. It's great until you have an animate guardian, you can keep them alive. So I highly recommend going down the animate guardian route. You gain fortify, culling, the 50 crit multi. Um, you could get more stuff. There's, there's more cool shit. You could get consecrated ground while the animate guardian is stationary on a crusader chest plate instead of a growth goals or a garb of the ephemeral. And that could give you the extra crit for con like, I'll show you what consecrated ground does. It's not that bad, right? Some extra crit, um, and your minion regens. Uh, if it's on, I, we regen as well when we're on consecrated. It's like not the worst, right? 6% regen. It's pretty good. It's actually insane. It's six renewals. Think about how insane Consecrated Ground could be. Um, and then if you... Oh, Maven Orbit, it lingers for one second. Okay. But uh, either way, uh, AG for the vo to, to, to get Vulnerability Corruption on the Glove so that it's a Curse on Hit with the Animate Guardian at Automated and you can get a better ring. And then you could also go for unset rings, um, where you, then you could fit more shit in the build. Uh, some stuff. You you could. There's like a lot of shit that you could be doing in this build. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny looking at an elementalist carry on golem though because it's it's you're getting all this golem buff effect and then the gold the carry on golem buffs up non golem minions but your non golem minions aren't doing any damage because you have specters and zombies with this link so that's why I don't do this anymore and I go ne uh, I go necro and I just get like regular regen and stuff and just go carry on golems and I don't go stone and chaos and I just do other stuff to make up for the stone and the chaos golem and just use necro and use the car full carry-ons for carry-on without going for the six but yeah uh this was our super super old thing and uh nice build man it does look pretty hard to scale it up though i would say it's a lot of the stuff you've invested into like dread marches and shit you could do uh harmonies are pretty cool for flat minion damage elegant hubris is pretty cool for flat minion damage um, there's, you already saw the enchant, there's, I gave you a second wand, that upped your damage quite a bit, yeah, I hope that helps, man, very old build, though, should, uh, definitely be looking at our newer stuff, like stone golems, you could pump out fucking deeps ease so easily, uh, the carry-on golems have just been nerfed so many times, uh, and then now we play them as a necro to make up for it, uh, yeah, I agree, dude. So next one, which one did I pull up next? We have a uh, alt bridge. Okay, watch a lot of vids to make a nice golem build for the first try in this league, but I die uh, every time for Baron mobs or Altum wave seven x for for an x seven x for seven plus for an x. Okay, here we go. 
Holy fuck. <laughs> Dude, it's the same build. So, yeah, everyone's rebuilding because they want it so badly and they won't move on to the to the present and they just are stuck in the past. And so they're building Elementalist, which carry on golems and they're all getting stuck at the same spot with just under 4 million damage squishy as fuck um at least he chaos rest captain has really high armor but uh he has the dread marches the renewals he did everything man rod and claws he why oh wait i was gonna say did he do the same thing where he took out the rod and claws on the second one because what would be the odds of that right okay that would have, that would have been crazy. So he skipped a call this letter. That's pretty cool. And then he does divine flesh. Zabakwa, but he only has seventy five, so it doesn't even work. You have to have more chaos res for this to even work. There might be a random chaos mod here that actually does raise it, because I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt that his chaos is actually capped. And it's just that it's one of those small nodes and I can't see it because this wouldn't make any sense. Um, so we'll put him at 25 so it shows at 80 and this is what it would look like in POB. So 37, 58, 51. So like... Zabak was so bad unless you go to 90. I don't recommend Zabakwa in the Golem Elementalist because you're jewel socket starved and you want to go to 90 Chaos Res. Um, so I don't recommend going Glorious Vanity, Divine Flesh, Zabakwa anymore. Um, it <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> it's funny how that... How that shows. Because it shows a higher elemental... And technically chaos, but I, I'm serious, like the cost of this, because then you could be running an elegant hubris and you kill all these nodes and you you used a jewel socket to do this. Um, it's better just to use a Saffle's frame because then you get all elemental and for chaos and you get 20 spell block and you get a shield and you just lose the cold iron point and then the benefit is you still have the jewel and you could run an elegant hubris which is way more damage and way more minion survivability than a cold iron point because the cold iron point is just the uh physical minions and then again your carry on golem so you've gone zombies and at least you did the elemental army and you have your ag so i like this one a lot better um i recommend the 21 zombie instead of the 2020 it's slightly better i'll show because this is the minion to look at for the survivability in this build uh 34,000. take off the 20 32 get a level 35,000. 21 is better it's crazy um so and then maybe you could get an extra one if you had the plus three helmet um it's so close if you have a plus one ami yep so if you, by getting the one extra level on the zombie, you get an extra zombie and you get the extra life on the zombie. So these are old things we used to do. Uh, you don't need this vulnerability profane proxy because you can get a vulnerability curse on hit on the glove as a corruption uh, for the animate guardian. Uh, this is a pretty cool thing. I wonder what's in your, in your ring. What's in that ring too? Is that the AG? Holy fuck, he's a god. That's that's a fat AG. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, and I forgot to mention, in that other build where the guy needed more damage, he just needed to level up his gems. Um, in this one, uh, Awaken Gems would help a lot. Awaken Gems are huge. Awaken Gems are huge. What did he get stuck on? He's dying. Don't do Zabakwa. Um... And then, Rumi's isn't that great because you have a brass dome, so it reduces the amount of block you're getting. So a regular granite with, uh, like, increased armor and 
gain like some sort of increased duration or gaining charges when you're hit or increased charge recovery or reduced charges or whatever to keep this up more often is better than the block probably and i i highly recommend a saffles frame instead of going a zabakwa and uh that's going to help a lot. I, you should look at my Stone Golem Elementalist. Uh, there's a video, Stone Golems, and it's like a big X over Carry On Golems. Basically, specifically targeted it at this. Um, because if we do Zabakwa, it's more of a zombie necro ma capping the chaos at 90 and saying fuck Ellie, basically, yeah. 90 chaos because it used to go to 85 for free off of a Zabakwa. It was so broken They just wanted us to know about divine flush and now they toned it back and so you have to actually invest in it Oh, uh, let's look at the next one. It's an assassin. So I imported this uh, This was a guy who yelled at me. Let me try to find it He said I deleted his comment for posting a, P a POB link, but YouTube just deletes POB links so I didn't actually delete it. So then he gave me the extension for his POB. And it's uh, an assassin. So he's a Cyclone Ice Nova with 4 million damage. And it looks so fucking cool. So the really cool things to look at is Timeless Jewel. Uh, Milish, Militant Faith with High Templar Dominus. And he goes Inner Conviction for 3% more spell damage per power charge. Uh, Feral's Fur. Uh... Pandemonious Jade Ami. Mark of the Shaper, o Shaper, Shaper Opal Ring. He's got this uh, enemies chilled by your hits are shocked. Enemies shocked by your hits are chilled. That sounds fucking crazy. Um, and then he has Frozen Trail to get the extra increased projectile speed. Firing two additional projectiles. And he's got the Tempered Mind. For the 125 accuracy pretend intelligence. It's a fat build. 4 million DPS. 4k life. Don't focus on his survivability. Wait, that's actually pretty good. But 24k, 6k. Oh god. Oh god. Don't get hit. <laughs> nice build, man. Um, oh, I was going to say, why is it a 7 link? That's weird. But uh, aspect of the cat. That's really cool. And then he did the ferals. This is really cool. Perma phasing while you have cat stealth. Maximum frenzy and power charges when you have cat stealth. And, then, and he has double cost breeze. Jesus. Nice build, man. Uh, wasn't really sure what to review. You didn't really ask. For, you just, yeah, yelled at me. But I did I did look at it. Um, fifth one. We have like four... Four more after this. Uh, this is Viz Plays Ultimatum. Uh, wait. So that is... Here we go. Ethan, thanks for the vids and help. Need the help to make my character stronger in terms of defenses. I still die to one-shots like Core Boss Slam or Cyrus Die Beam. Note I have two times Slumlord and one times Axiom Warden. Ooh, an elegant hubris. Bossing and clearing DPS is fine. My next few upgrades are Flask, Kingmaker, and Awakened Gems, but I can't seem to make the defenses better. I tried Zabakwa, but it didn't help much. Thus, I went for Elegant Hubris. Yeah, this video is so good. Oh my god, it's so funny, man. I'm so everybody's come to the same conclusions, but it's I've already done all this, and I tried to save everyone all the effort. Because, like, you could look at our progression, and we've done it, and we've already... Yeah, elegant hubris. Two slumlords, 80 minion damage. Those are a lot of points to spend for this, man. Where's the other one? Oh, that's a really good one. Dude, that's really bad. But at least they're in the same thing, so it makes it slightly better, because this one point is the thing to get both of them. So now it's only a three and a two by getting this one... But it's a four-pointer and a three-pointer, but together it's only seven. Or six. Sorry, six. And then eight points. And then he does the extra. Oh, so isn't... Um, I think this is another small thing I figured out. Uh, watch this. 119. Shorter from the top. Holy shit, Ethan. 
I know, it's because you wanted the chaos. <laughs> He's insane! <laughs> Why'd you take this? Isn't this better? Uh, armor. That's pretty cool. You take that extra life node now. I got you an extra life node, dude. Holy shit. Um, carry on golem. Elementalist. Stuck under 4,000 with 4k life. Stuck under 4 million. Cold iron points. Big ass helmet. With the hubris. Ami. Pomp blind. Life. He's got three harmonies and two eminence. I think another uh, harmony is better. Boom. How is that worse? Whatever, dude. Some Oh, it's because of his hubris. Oh, yeah. Hubris is slightly worse for damage in this build because you have so much flat damage because you golem stacked and you harmony stack. <laughs> yeah, so then the hubris was really good at life and not that great at damage because you already can get 60 in a jewel socket and you, and you get so many jewel sockets for free especially because you go clusters because you want the rotten claws um because nobody wants to go alt qual gems wait no way how do you need so much is this with both oh you don't have anomalous yeah just anomalous would make it so you wouldn't need this like whole cluster i'm pretty sure so you could save like 10 points do some extra pathing could be fun uh let's check out your your carry on real quick uh see what the impales like 88 damn dude it's so close awaken generosity what if it was leveled up 99 what the fuck <laughs> bruh but yeah what if Wait, you had a two-point jewel socket? And then you have five extra points? To spend on whatever you want? <laughs> Alright, and then you could put those back in. What were these? Two harmonies? All right, let's see what that looks like real quick. Seven, eleven, forty-three, sixty-eight. Is that better? With going the anomalous and leveling up the, probably it's similar, because like I really I feel like you only need one cluster. Um. With the current state of things, with how good alt qual gems are, uh, I like them a lot. I think they're really good, and then it saves you a whole cluster, and the cluster is really expensive. That's like 10x saved, isn't it? Um, easy money. And then the anomalous impale is cheaper, and then you save the points, so then it's just normal pathing, which you don't have to do in during bond, because if you aren't using like a, a skill like convocation, hehehehe. <laughs> Then, uh, yeah, I don't think you are. Do yeah, I don't think you are. So then, uh, you might not be triggering a minion skill to do this. But, uh, then you just have the extra points. Let's get the extra solvenarity for the dread banner and the extra mana. Sure, dude. And, uh, here, have some extra chaos back as well. There you go. 44, 675. Like, it's really interesting. And, uh, I'm telling you, I think the thing with the hubris is that if you do a hubris, you, you want to do it from the top. And, uh, and you want to usually do life over damage because of how you get free damage with the harmonies. And then more harmonies is better over the eminence in the three golem build setup. The, the reason I did the more eminences or less harmonies in my other builds is because when I did less golems, so like my aura stacker, just carry on, um, the, 
necro like the necro or the scion it's just carry on so less harmonies because it's less damage per harmony with three golems in this build you get 60 per harmony in mine it was 20 in the stone golem chaos golem build because you don't run carry on golem it's only 40 but you can run the lightning golem which is that special tech the secret sauce you add the extra lightning golem in there in the primordial chain build and that gets you an extra golem which actually adds more damage with harmony which was the whole reason why we ran the carry on before but carry on was also our main golem and then the extra benefit with the lightning golem is that it gives you attack speed and people have been seeing me use shield charge and stuff now and they also use cyclone and there's like lightning golem buffs you and you're buffing because you're the elementalist in these ones that you're showing with the last few builds it's carry on elementalist because everyone's been going carry on instead of stone as an elementalist because they still want the stone golem and the fit and the chaos golem buff because it's so good then lightning golem looks really good because you get that extra golem buff effect on the lightning golem as well which if you're using a skill that actually scales off attack speed so a lot of people have been doing with me the spiritual command and then going shield charge and then attack speeds mat attack speed matters and you could also do it with uh then lightning golem with elementalist and you could get um fortify in a in an elementalist pretty cool next build thank you for the build man thanks for i hope that helps a lot of my stuff about your stuff um kingmaker awaken gems seems good can't seem to make the defense better uh defenses would be like the after you up all the damages which is probably not elementalist or it's not carry on then um you can do a saffle frame or if you do carry on then you do necro and then yeah you probably don't need a profane proxy if you have an animate guardian and you can start to gain a lot of shit back in the build and uh just upgrading the items to insane shit true hope uh selling this helps and i hope uh revealing the truth about the harmonies and the elegant hubris helps next build i think i have like a few more few more build reviews sorry for the flashbang random there's that one we have four more not that many left uh we have poe to what uh let's go these help a lot i i already can tell that everyone's having similar issues and uh i can understand the confusion and so this should help a lot of people if they actually watch <laughs> It, hey, that's not up to me, man. That's up to them. If they actually want the help, hey, it's here. So this guy, Speedy. Hey, welcome back, dude. Can you please do a build review? Yep. After finally buying all golem jewels, I reached the 1 million damage mark. And last league, it felt great with 1 million. But this league, it doesn't. I do any damage. Also, I'm getting one-shotted as well, even with max res and 4k life. I know I need... 21 gems first and I but I still think it doesn't give me millions of damage I would like to know how would you how you would build your carry on golem build nowadays every single one of these is the same I'm seeing a trend Yo, it's carry on golems, elementalist, once again, back, motherfucker. How? How? Is every build review this, man? No one, I swear, last season I go, yo guys, zombies, nobody. Last season, this season, stone golems, nobody. I'm losing my shit. No awakened gems. How do I get- He has 1.4 million. He's already making the other builds look like a joke, dude. He doesn't even have the Awakened Gems. <laughs> he says, this is how you get the damage, guys. Look at this one. Alright, just take in all eight builds. Copy your favorite. There you go, man. Get that quality on multi. Dude. Okay, what we got here, what we got here, let's go into it. This one we got Rotten Claws and the Renewal, an extra minion note. What is this? 10 passive. 
This one's an 8. That's cool. Renewal Rotten. Okay. Some Dreadmarch Renewal. That's pretty cool. He went for this. No Sacrifice. He's doing the Spectre. Zombie. Meat Shield. So... It Im immediately makes me go... His zombies aren't capped. They're, they're missing chaos. This is the life. The physical is great because he took Indom Army. Chaos is okay. Elemental's decent, I guess, actually. It's it's okay. It works, probably. He's not complaining, I don't think. That's I don't think he... I don't think he said anything. Uh, the extra thing, if he got the extra level, could help a lot um, on those two. Huge survivability difference. Uh, and then I wonder how much impale he had. Let's take a look. Ninety four. So he's almost there. It's like saw venerity. Ninety seven. Uh it's pretty close. Sorry about that. I clicked some shit. Uh it's pretty close if he just had a divergent dread banner, so you wouldn't have the twenty three quality. Um, then that'll work. I, you're just leveling up a multi, I guess. Uh, you're up 99 with that. Oh, holy shit, man. That's fucking insane. Um, random brutality on a skitterbot. So yeah, you have 4k life. But you did get your 4 million damage mark as well. Every single one of these is showing 4 million damage, but the benefit of this one... So, he has plus 2 helmet, minion life, 20, sick. No life on the helmet, holy fuck. Oh my god, what is that? It's just for a 6 link, holy shit. This is pretty sick, no levels on the Ami. He has uh, the Ravenous Horde. How many harmonies? So he did four harmonies, one eminence. I like it. He didn't do the uh, elegant hubris. I think you spend way too much on it. Uh, he didn't go for the billion dread marches anymore. Uh, I noticed a three point jewel socket here. That's very tempting because that's so cheap. <clears throat> that's so cheap for a jewel socket. Three points. And like I saw also quick recovery. But these are the choices he's made for his. It's fine. Uh, there was the extra one damage on this, and then there's also, this is an 8 passive instead of a, I mean a 10 instead of an 8, so he spent an extra point. And there was also that one extra that was on it, might have been a bug. Um, but you could actually get more life, and then, I honestly, 94, you could easily get a few more levels, like to 97 is not that bad, 96, 97 is pretty, fairly easy. Uh, you have a 2 point jewel socket here, that seems nuts. Sanctum of Thought is really good for survivability. Uh, your armor is really low, so maybe getting armor on the gear. So you see how the gear, you've done all this hybrid stuff to probably make socketing easier, get the links easier, etc. The colors. Uh, if you do armor bases like my hardcore, that can really help for the survivability. Get life on your gear, so you don't have to have 4,000 life. Like you can get life on the helmet. This only has 35. Uh, you could really up your life. Your damage is pretty good. Um, you can go for an animate guardian in the build, since you have all these dead sockets, um, that you aren't even using, like you have a random impale here, you have a random multi-strike here, you have a random brutality there, you have all these extra gems, and so, and then awaken gems, and, uh, just awakened multi will add 17% more damage. And then after you do all that, you might have too much damage, and you can go like a normal wand, so it gives levels to um, to minions and uh, spell skill gems instead of just physical. And then you can go a Saffle's Frame to raise your max fire and chaos, which uh, will also help for that. And I really recommend going armor bases and getting more armor and getting more life on the gear. And then you could also go an Unset Ring. Um, 
like the Stygian, like the Jewel, like the Blonde, like the Taunt, all that. You can get life on this. <laughs> uh, pointed out the two-point Jewel Socket, three-point Jewel Socket. Those are really good. Sanctum of Thought is sick. Uh, quick Recovery is sick. Uh, nice build, though, man. And uh, congratulations on your four million deeps. Uh, you've done great. Some of these other builds, they didn't even have their gems leveled up, by the way. It's really crazy. But <laughs> random impale. What the heck? You leveling up extra? What's going on here? And then you actually hit a 21 impale. 21-20. That's nutty, dude. Uh, nice build. Oh, the only other thing. On one of your jewels, like Abyss Jewel, you might want to get uh, the minion Ellie res. Because your golem, I mean your zombies technically aren't capped, but yeah. And you may not want to spend 5 points on tireless, because that's uh, 23 life for 5 points, and you have 5 points here of 25 life, so it's just more life. And this is reduced cost of skills, which is more for like when you're skeletons and casting things. Hope this uh, helped. Next build this this one filthy golems oh my god it's gonna be another one i can feel it it's another one dude this video title is how to build carry on golems in three <laughs> basically like it really the whole video is just this back to back to back it's a oh it's a stoner okay here we go problem how do i get more dps Without just throwing 60x in the build awake him all the 30x one i want to do the fear deathless yeah that's a big ask man just i don't want to put money in the build but hey let me do the hardest thing in the game have an almost immortal character that can reach level 100 i'm doing all uh, your aura stacker i'm doing all ultimatums without failing any that oh you're doing that right now oh nice like five uber alders has 90 chaos rest but triula can tank fully Buff tribute to the goddess is Zaro almost AFK just with fortify applied. I'm using the formless inferno helm to get armors increased by uncapped fire res. Get like 90k armor combined with glorious vanity and fortify for mitigations. Character is almost immortal even with 4k life. It can tank almost anything in the game. Only does the Cyrus's meteor mechanic or if you stay more than three seconds in shaper beam. The fear destroyed but not deathless. I'm bad at dodging. We'll try again for deathless. I added anomalous bloodless for crush, but Killing strike on flame dash, anomalous flesh offering, and switched eight stones, one chaos for the most single target DPS. Need ideas on how to min max without using awaken multi or 50x ones. What's wrong with those men? <laughs> you're only 95, you're missing two levels. Unless this bugged out. I think it bugged out. Never mind. Um. Wait, what? It what? Has 90 chaos. Oh. Oh, there's some missing. There's something missing here. I'm just going to manually raise the chaos on one of these again. It's probably on the, on the jewel. Timeless jewel. So he's at 90 with 80. So his stuff looks like this. So his max hit is 79, 66, 69. And then if you put in a big physical hit of like 15,000, uh, he can tank at 28. But he has like fortify, he said. Castle channel, fortify, cyclone. Uh, so he has everything. He's using even Divergent Multi instead of Awakened Multi. Um, I... 71,000 armor. 
what? <laughs> How to get more damage. Okay. Uh... Your slime's a lot more damage, and it depends on what you're doing. Do you need this? Oh, for the max. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Formless Inferno. So you have to get a billion fire and then you get armor increased by that okay that's a helmet okay um there's potential that you don't need 1159 regen if you have this much mitigation like this if, if you're surviving with 4000 life right uh a part of me wonders like this regen is 25% or more of your life per second. Like, that's nuts. That's disgusting. Wait. Twenty-seven point two percent of your life per second. Uh, so it's like, I wonder a bit of the eminences, but then that's also physical damage reduction. Like, you have 72. That's so fucking awesome. Uh, your physical hit was uh, 35 with Fortify. So your physical is actually the lowest still. Even in this, with the Chaos Golems and the Brass Dome and shit. That's so crazy. With this much armor, because of your setup with the Zabakwa, which was... It's it's actually really cool that you you were able to do this in... An elementalist stone golem but it does look like it hurts a lot to do this because you you sacrifice the jewel and then the small jewels is more jewels being lost um i would recommend another cluster getting an extra notable here like you have here where you get two notables this seems good um your impale is 97 you're actually missing three that that could really help um the the level of the stone golem is at 24 uh i find so you, obviously you have this you could get a corrupted ammy for extra stuff too there there's extra things but that's really expensive oh you went the less life on it too nice um you also had the... I was going to say the enchant on the helmet could be damage instead. Uh, I was also thinking more harmonies instead of eminence. But then you lose physical damage reduction, which is your worst thing. So maybe that's really good. Um, but I think like an extra harmony is actually more damage. Like it looks less by one a little bit. But then the cooldown will help for the slamming. Um, and actually... So you really, you don't want it, but you, you do. You want it more than you even understand. You say, ah, oh, anything but that. But dude, seriously, let me explain it. You have all these things. Your build is insane, isn't it? Now, this is bigger than you think. Now, just to put it in the first perspective, just in terms of damage, right? Right? We went from 339 to 375. So you're getting 36 more. 36 more of 339 is 10.6% on this. And that's over your special multi, which was a divergent. Now, there's a side benefit that isn't in this calculation. And that is... The extra slam. It repeats an additional time. So instead of... Okay, so without multi, they, they slam once. The cooldown, 1.49 seconds. With normal multi, three. 
I think of multi like spell echo, and I'm like, man, I if 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 spell echo repeated three, holy, holy shit, oh, do you know how many spell builds would be completely broken? If there was a quad, like, you could get three repeats of a spell, like, Chaos Golem with the three fucking waves extra on a spell, you get your Ice Golem shooting the- Oh my god, it's insanity. So, uh, multi on your attack skills and repeating an extra. So then it's how much- So, multi on the normal one adds an extra two, so you go from one to three, (laughs) 200% more. This is then an extra, you already had three, you get an extra one, it's 33% more, on top of the 10.6% more damage that's in POB of DPS. And then the extra repeat, helping for the cooldown, and this is nuts. But I also noticed, besides this, so you had your regular one, and you have your divergent, and yeah, it's, it's more damage, and that's really cool. I actually, I have it as well. I have two of them in SSF. It's really cool. But anyways, uh, the other thing is levels are huge. Like, I don't know if, yeah, obviously you don't think of it while you're doing or you're like, ah, I'm leveling them. Yeah, but they actually, levels make a huge diff. That one probably doesn't. Uh, the culling probably doesn't, uh, those are fine, and, uh, I kind of like the determination in this, that's really cool, and, uh, yeah, actually sick build, dude, really fucking cool, uh, nice endurance charges, I like that, because I was gonna say, your physical's still the worst, like, even after you did this, and it, the physical, man, it's so crazy, how you're an elementalist with the chaos and it's still the physical. But um, just leveling those gems up helps a little bit. But seriously, you knew it too. Though, that multi is just too big. It's bigger than the wand. You don't, you don't really... The wand, the main reason for the wand, there's two reasons. Trigger. The second one is if your specters and zombies are having problems... Instead of it giving it to physical only, even your Chaos Golem can have a problem, uh, you could get the levels across everything, minions and spells. So then your Spectres, oh, you don't have Spectres in this, it's just Chaos Golem. Yeah, so the one's super not important, and you're already a Cyclone, so you you already have your automatic, and this is pretty much what you want to trigger anyways. So you you don't actually need the wand, so like... Yeah, you only really want the multi, and I'm not. I'm not just saying that. It's like I'm. This is genuine. You don't really need the wand. The wand in the past, we compared it. You had to get like a almost perfect wand, and it was the difference was like two or five percent. The main reason was trigger, or if you took it the extra step, hatred, cold scaling, and you influenced it at the end. For the extra 40% hatred aura effect is fucking insane. But, like, that's so expensive. And this was, like, 10c. Um, so, uh, you just keep the, keep the cold iron point, And it's actually an extra level. And it's really cheap. And it's good. And then the thing to look at is, seriously, Awaken Multi, 10.6% more damage. And the extra repeat, which is 33% more repeats. Which is kind of like going harmonies without the, the jewels and it's just an act this is like a gen an actual upgrade it's a pure upgrade no cost no downside except the ooh, 30x yeah i agree man but it ooh, is that worth it you won't regret it god damn uh there's some others here like technically these three points don't look great on i don't i don't really like this uh and then the, the extra notable on the cluster um, but otherwise, yeah, really cool build. Nice job, man. Uh, good work with the Zabakwa. You actually fit it in, and you did it correctly, like I recommended with the 90 Chaos Res. Pog you after all the nerfs. That's insane. He actually did it. Uh, this one, I don't have the name. What? Vamp? Wait, I didn't import it? I put the name... Oh! This one, I tried to import in his profile as private, so I didn't have another review, and we have one more. What's this one? Oh, I pulled up the dude's build twice. The first guy, because I needed to compare. 
I made two. I made a build. I'll show you. So this was my revision of his original. First, I did this just to see like if I could get more da more life, similar damage. And then the Chaos Res, the extra full five nodes without going the extra cluster. And then I re-recorded the video, doing it live and starting the video, remaking this Stone Golem Elementalist. But yeah, this was a really eventful video. I could see the the focus of where everyone's at. Everyone wants, to, most people want to play carry-ons. I get that. Um, people are trying to figure out the defenses. The main focus, like I've tried is Saffles and the uh, Zabakwa. We now have a build in the build review that was a good defensive uh, Zabakwa. And then we had one that shows 4 million damage without Awakened Gems and shit. So that's really cool too. So I think this is a great video. And overall, if someone actually sat through and enjoyed it, then uh, holy fuck, are they going to learn a hell of a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out this extra long episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon and my YouTube members who financially support the channel. Uh, I can't do this without you guys, so thank you guys for all the support. And uh, thank you to anyone new who joins the, that joins the Patreon of the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!